Good day. It is Motivational Monday, and I just want to come to you with a very, very inspiring verse. And you're going to see how all this ties in together with taking your NCLEX or becoming a nurse or studying uh, to pass your nursing course or whether you're trying to take the CCRN exam. Um, you have to have some faith, but you also have to feed your faith. So I was doing some biblical study and it's becoming more and more evident to me that what we learn and study biblically is not only helping out your life in a spiritual way, but it's also meant to help you fulfill your goals in life physically. Because what is in the spirit manifests physically. It's spiritually first, but it manifests physically. And I think a lot of times we disregard it for our physical life, but it is meant to help us live a life that's healthier and more fulfilling for us as well. So feeding your faith, what is this about? Um, when you compare this um, biblically, you probably have heard of feed your faith and that will starve your fear. So you want to feed your faith and starve your fears. And you also want to feed your faith so that it starves your doubts. So anything you have doubts about in life, you feed your faith and that increases your faith and encourages your faith. It gives you more strength in believing things that you don't see and knowing it's going to come to pass, right? But you have to feed your faith. Um, if you look at Romans chapter 10, verse 17, now these verses are coming from the New King James Version. Um, chapter 10, verse 17 in Romans says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So in order to re increase your faith in believing and trusting in God, that faith is going to come by hearing. Well, hearing word, what? You have to hear the word of God. So God is telling us in his word that as long as you diligently every day read my word, that is going to increase your faith because you're constantly hearing the word. Those scriptures are embedded in your heart, on your lips, in your mind. You hear it, you see it, you read it, you feel it within you, and that will increase your faith. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, you probably have also heard or read from James chapter 2, and you can read through verses 14 through 26, but specifically looking down at verse 17, he gives this um, analogy here, and then he talks about, so giving that analogy, thus also faith by itself if it does not have works, is dead. So what you're doing in your life is going to justify by your works. A man is justified by works and not by faith only. So you can have faith, but if, you're, if what you're doing is not showing you have faith and belief and trust, then what is that faith? You know, so also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. So put that all into context physically. Now we're going to look at one more verse, verse, and I want you to really think about that physically in your day-to-day -day life. Are you feeding your faith? All right, not just spiritually, but are you physically feeding your faith, your faith? Not just by food, but what are you giving yourself every day to help you pass your NCLEX? To become a better nurse, what courses are you taking? What classes are you doing? What books are you reading? What are you feeding yourself, right? Because we feed ourselves spiritually and we have faith and trust in God and belief. But what are you doing to feed your NCLEX study? But the NIV version says, pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. So you need to hear wise words and you need to hear the word of God. So you also need to hear nursing to study nursing and you have to apply your heart to what is taught he says apply your heart to what i teach for it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart and have all of them ready on your lips what i see a lot of students struggle with is that 
they have a hard time articulating or repeating back the information to me. You want to be able to review the content for NCLEX for your nursing study and say it out loud. Repeat it back to yourself. Repeat it to somebody. Repeat it to your tutor. That way you know that you understand the content. So the same way that you repeat the things that you hear and read and study in your biblical study so that you that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today, even you, he says, in order to have that faith, in order to trust more in the Lord, you have to hear it. You have to keep it on your lips. Those words have to be on your lips. Keep it in your heart. So nursing is very much that same way. You have to study this content. It's not something that you're going to catch overnight. You have to look at those case studies. You have to understand your nursing implications, your nursing interventions. You want to do all those things, and that will help get you further and further into understanding the material so you can pass the exams. So feeding your faith, very, very important. Faith feeds on the word of God, but your physical faith, faith in whatever journey you're trying to complete, what mission you're on, if you're trying to pass that NCLEX, your faith in knowing that, hey, I'm going to pass my NCLEX exam is going to feed on the words of the NCLEX. You've got to constantly study it. So we see that God's word helps us in our physical life as well. So do apply it. I recommend that you apply it. And this is very interesting. I found this book. It's a digital download. I'm not um, um, promoting it or anything. I have no idea about this book, but it's very interesting that this person who designed this, it says it was made by Rebecca R.N. It says digital download. It's a PDF file and it's titled the NCLEX Bible. And I said to myself, whoever made this 36 pages full of what you need to pass, uh, it, what you need to pass your NCLEX the first time, whoever made this NCLEX Bible, they were right on task on understanding how to fully indulge yourself into your NCLEX study. It's like taking your Bible and getting those scriptures that are fulfilling your faith and feeding your faith. You need the NCLEX Bible. I'm not saying this particular book. I'm just saying that you need the content and you need to look at it almost like it is like a Bible, right? You need to gather that content, study the right material, and study it as if you're learning Bible verses and you're taking it to heart and you're putting those things on your mouth, on your lips. You're able to speak it back to somebody. You're able to tell someone what does it mean to, to uh, be in hyperkalemia or hypokalemia? Um, what are the electrolytes and fluid balance disorders? And you need to be able to repeat all that. But whoever created this, this was great. It's called They called it the NCLEX Bible. And I just thought that's very interesting because that concept is what I want you to see, that you need to feed your faith. So continue to have faith and belief that you can pass the NCLEX, that you can pass your nursing course. You can make it and, and pass your HESI exam. You can go on to become a great and awesome nurse. You can pass your CCRN exam if that's what your interest is in or whatever certification you choose to get to specialize in your career. Indulge into your nursing career by feeding it. You have to feed it. A body physically cannot maneuver with on starvation. So, you know, when you're hungry, it's hard to concentrate. It's hard to do things when you're hungry. You have to feed your body physically. You also have to feed whatever it is you're trying to study. It's not going to come overnight. You have to diligently study this material every day up until the time for you to take your exam. Set yourself a goal, a reasonable goal. I recommend three months of study. Study it every day, five to six days a week. Take two to three hours every day to study. And then after those 12 weeks or three months of study, um, you already have in the beginning a game plan. You have your goal, like when am I going to take this in class? You have a study plan. What am I going to study every week? And you're going to use the NCSBN test plan to understand what you need to be studying to pass the exam and look at it this way this NCLEX Bible I thought it was very interesting but feed your faith eliminate your fears eliminate your doubts and continue feeding your faith it's so important so I hope this motivational Monday has blessed you today I know you can pass it I know you can do this so tell yourself 
you can do it.